Hey for 60 Sellers Edition, my name is Gabe Gabrielson. I'm a real estate broker serving the greater Seacoast area. And in this series, what I do is I answer 30 of the most common questions I get from sellers. And I try to do an overview or a quick answer within roughly 60 seconds. And today's question is, should I price my home high and leave room to negotiate or come down? Um, the answer, one of the answers to that is, depends on what type of market you're in. A seller's market, a buyer's market, are you in a neutral market, or are you in a transitioning market? Um, if you, uh, it, right now, we are in a very strong, hot seller's market, so homes tend to sell very rapidly. Now, there's no doubt sellers want to get the most for their home, and there's no question that I want to uh, get the most for my client and not leave any money on the table. There are a couple things that you have to be aware of, though, if you're pricing your home high and you, you really know what, that you're doing that. Uh, the first thing is you're going to help your neighbor sell their home. So somebody else that is, uh, has a property like kind of yours, you know, a single family, roughly the same square footage, number of bathrooms, bedrooms, those sorts of things, uh, comparable neighborhoods, and they're priced you know, lower than you you may actually end up helping them sell their home before you get sold because buyers are looking in the marketplace and they're saying, what's the best value in the marketplace for me and my money? And if you're higher and they sell, you've uh, essentially helped them out. Um, another, another reason that pricing high can be, a, you need to be aware of is you have longer carrying costs. Every, every month that you are on the market, you have, property insurance, um, you have property taxes, you have a mortgage payment, presumably, that you're probably paying, you have all the upkeep of the property, those sorts of things. Um, another danger is you might end up chasing the market. This is usually more prevalent when you are in a transitioning market and you start high and the market is transitioning, say, from a seller's market to a more neutral or I've seen in some cases it's flipped from a seller's market to a buyer's market in a two week period. So very rapidly and you end up chasing the market down. So the market keeps falling away from you. You're doing price reductions, but you're still not getting offers. You're getting, you know, no activity and you keep chasing down until eventually you'll get an offer. But who knows when that could be? So those are a few things to be aware of. Um, if you want more information about this question, or I have not covered a question that um, is top of mind for you yet in the series, reach out to me. My contact information is always at the uh, end of the video. And until next time, everybody take care and be safe. Bye.